today on Tea Time, I wanted to talk to you about one of my favorite insects, the butterfly. Did you know that butterflies are first born as caterpillars? They live in cocoons while they grow their brightly colored wings, and then they hatch out and they fly away. My favorite type of butterfly is the monarch butterfly. You can usually spot them outside because their wings are bright orange. The state of Arizona has the most different types of butterflies in the whole United States. They have 220 different kinds of butterflies. That's a big number. I also learned that butterflies eat nectar from flowers. They sip it with their tongue like a straw. <laughs> That's weird. Did you know butterflies can only see three different colors? Red, green, and yellow. I wonder what it would be like if I could only see three different colors. Well, next time you're outside, keep your eyes peeled for a beautiful butterfly. Thanks for watching. I was just outside playing with my boat and my animals. I want to put them all in the boat so they're safe from the storm. Will you help me? Okay, let's do it together. First, I want to put the pig in the boat. Do you know which one is the pig? Oink, oink, oink. That's the sound a pig makes. Can you make an oink sound? That's great. Okay, Mr. Pig, you go in the boat. There you go. Okay, let's see. I think we should put the turtle in the boat next. Do you know where the turtle is? <gasps> there he is! Hi, Mrs. Turtle! A turtle is green and it has a hard shell. Have you ever seen a turtle before? That's awesome! Turtles are so cool! Let's go in the boat, Mrs. Turtle. You can go up top. Now you're safe in the boat. Okay, I think we should put the elephant in the boat next. Do you see an elephant? has a long trunk and it goes Woo! Can you make an elephant sound? <laughs> Good job, bananas! Okay, let's go in the boat! Doot, 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 doot. We can go in the door and peek out the hole. Hello! Perfect! Now three of my animals are safe from the storm. We have two animals left. Let's put the giraffe in the boat. Which animal is the giraffe? This one? Or this one? Yeah, you know it. This is the giraffe. Giraffes have a really long neck. Can you stretch out your neck like a giraffe? Oh, good job. Okay, let's go in the boat, little giraffe. Yeah. 
you can poke your head out too. <gasps> Look, four of my animals are safe from the storm. That leaves one animal left. Do you know what that is? It's a duck. Quack, 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 quack. Can you make a duck sound? Quack, 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 quack. Yeah, let's go in the boat so you're safe from the storm. And let's zip you up. The duck is small, so we don't want him to fall out. <gasps> Looks like we're all safe. Okay, are you guys ready to go? coming to save you. Hoo, hoo, gotcha. Bye-bye. Hi, Simon. Welcome to Tea Time. Well, hello there, Taylor. And hello to you, too. Simon, now that you're here, we can sing the song about animal sounds. Oh, that is a brilliant idea. All right, Simon, let's hit it. Oh, yeah. There once was a dog who liked to wag his tail. He liked to run in the yard and bark at the mailman. And the dog said, woof, woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. Say woof, woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. Woof, a woof. Yeah, woof, woof, woof. Woof, 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 woof. Hi, this is fun. Let's do another one. There once was a cat who was on the prowl. She would stalk around with a purr and meow. And the cat said, meow. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, There once was a frog. Hi, that's me. He had a hop in his step. The pond was his home. The lily pad was his bed. And the frog says, ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Rip, 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 The frog ribbit. says ribbit, ribbit. A ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Now there once was a duck who had little orange feet. Ooh. The duck would waddle around and quack to the beat. And the duck said quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Say quack, quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. Yeah, quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, goody, quack. Guitar solo. Woof, woof, woof. With the dog. Oh. Meow, meow, meow. With the cat. Rip it, rip it. With the frog. Quack, quack. With the little yellow duck. You guys did such a great job singing the animal sounds. They sure did. Simon, thank you so much for coming to tea time today. Bananas, did you have fun with Simon? Yeah, I thought you did. Thank you guys for singing with us today. And I'll see you next time on Tea Time. Bye. <laughs> Bananas! I'm eating a banana. You know why? Because I'm a monkey. <laughs> you like my monkey mask? I got to go to the zoo last week and learned all about monkeys. They're amazing animals and they're really smart. I have some fun facts I want to share with you. The first thing I learned about monkeys is that there's over 200 different kinds. Whoa, that's a lot. 
too many to tell you about, so I thought I'd pick out my two favorites, the spider monkey and the emperor tamarind monkey. Now the spider monkey is like a trapeze artist. It spends most of its time swinging from limb to limb in the trees high above the jungle. They're really fast and they like to eat fruit like bananas, apples, and oranges. Mmm. <laughs> now the emperor tamarind monkey is so cute. It looks like it has a big beard and they like to live in groups too. Well, who wouldn't? I don't want to live by myself. How boring. Did you know that we used to have monkey astronauts? The first ever monkey astronaut was named Albert. On June 11, 1948, Albert took off into space. Over 32 different monkeys have flown in the space program. That's incredible. There's a monkey species called the howler monkey. It's one of the loudest animals in the world. It howls at the beginning and end of every day and you can hear its howl up to three miles away. That's really loud. Well, those are some of the interesting facts that I learned at the zoo. When you have time, check out your local zoo and see what animals you can learn about. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I think I'm gonna go have another banana. <laughs>
Did you know that penguins waddle like this? Can you try waddling? It's so much fun. <laughs> oh, penguins are so cute. And I love pink monster trucks. Oh, bye-bye, he's leaving. Now we've seen three monster trucks. One, two, three. And we've seen three animals. One, two, three. Good job. I hear another one, it's number four. Oh, how cool. This monster truck is the same color as a fire engine. What color is it? R, R, red! Oh, that's a cool red monster truck. And it has an animal in it. It's a snake. Can you hiss like a snake? Snakes like to slither on their bellies. I don't really like snakes. Let's get that one out of here. He's gone. So far we've seen four monster trucks with four animals. Oh, I hope there's more. Hmm. Oh no, maybe that's it. Did you hear that? There's another one, yay! Ooh, that monster truck is green. And it's carrying Lizzie the dog from Brain Candy TV. She's our special visitor. Hi, Lizzie. Ruff, ruff, ruff. That's what a dog says. Can you bark like Lizzie? Ruff, ruff, ruff. Hey, I have a pet dog. His name's Mr. George. Hi, Mr. George. Hi! Do you have a pet dog? Ruff, ruff. Oh, Mr. George loves other doggy friends like Lizzie. Hey! They're both so smart and we love learning our colors and numbers and animals with them. Everyone say bye to Lizzie. Bye! Ruff, ruff, ruff. Wow, we've learned a lot today. We counted to five with our monster trucks. One, two, three, four, five. And we learned five different colors from our monster trucks. They were blue, purple, pink, red, and green. And they each had different animals in them. Do you remember the animals? An alligator, a kangaroo, a penguin, a scary snake, and Lizzie the dog. Well, five is a whole hand. Let me see your five. <laughs> cool. Oh, bananas, that was so much fun. Thanks for watching. And thanks again to our friends at Brain Candy TV for letting us borrow their cool monster trucks. And Lizzie the dog, she was so cute. I'll see you next time on Tea Time. See ya. playing with my friend Zoe yesterday and she was telling me all about her favorite animal. Horses! I wanted to share some of the fun things I learned about horses with you. The first thing I learned is that there are about 75 million horses in the world and no two horses look alike. That's a ton of horses. I also learned that horses only sleep two to three hours a day. Oh my, I like to sleep eight hours a day. Horses can also sleep laying down or standing up. That's so funny. I don't think I could sleep standing up. Boy horses and girl horses also have different names. 
A boy horse is called a colt, and a girl horse is called a filly. They also have different names when they grow up and become adults. A male horse is called a stallion, and a female horse is called a mare. Do you think that a horse's tail is just a tail? No way! Their tails are really important. They use it to keep warm and swat away bugs and flies. <laughs> Horses are herbivores. That's a big word. It means that they only eat plants, no meat. It's kind of like being a vegetarian. Horses are really strong animals and one of my favorites. What's your favorite animal? Oh, I love that animal too. Well, me and my horses are gonna go gallop away. Bye. Today on Tea Time, we're going to learn about ladybugs. Ladybugs are insects with wings. They have six legs, three on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did you know that there's over 5,000 different types of ladybugs? They come in many different colors, including red, orange, yellow, black, brown, gray, and even pink. The most common ladybug is red with black spots. The number of spots tells you the type of ladybug it is. As ladybugs get older, their spots fade away, just like human hair turns gray when we get older. I'm going to show you a ladybug and you count the number of spots. How many spots do you see? Seven, that's right! One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. There's seven spots on this ladybug. Let's try one more. How many spots do you see on this ladybug? Four, that's right. One, two, Three, four. There's four spots on this ladybug. There are boy ladybugs and girl ladybugs, but it's almost impossible to tell them apart. Isn't it funny that a boy is still called a ladybug? <laughs> girl ladybugs can lay up to a thousand eggs in its lifetime. That's 1,000 babies. Ladybugs like to live in gardens and forests and even in people's houses. <gasps> but don't be afraid. If you see a ladybug in your house, they're really friendly. They can't hurt you. You know what? I think I like ladybugs. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time on Tea Time. Bye!